Hello, I'm Sandra Darling. I am a co-owner of The Laughing Elephant. We, my husband and I started this company in about 1970. We had, we had a bookstore. My husband was a uh, avid book collector. He could not pass a used bookstore without going in, and we had a bookstore also at the same time. And we realized that there were so many beautiful illustrations that were in books that were no longer in print and therefore out of the public's eye. They, most of this generation had never seen them. So we started by making cards of these illustrations. And we actually started in our back bedroom with the babysitter as my helper. So that was, they were popular and it grew from there. We got cards, we had cards and prints and then we, because my husband and I both loved books, we started making books. And one of the first books we did was the Teddy Bear's Picnic. We had one of our salesmen said, you need to do the Teddy Bear's Picnic. You remember the old story about the Teddy Bear's Picnic? And I, we couldn't find an illustrator. And since uh, my profession was, was, a, was an artist, a painter, I said, well, okay, I'll try it. We had a friend who had a teddy bear collection and one of my sons had a big teddy bear collection. So they served this model and it was very popular. So we went on from there. We had uh, Cooper Edens was one of our authors who was very popular with his book, Remember the Night Rainbow. And uh, then Good Dog Carl came along, which was, which was my book. Anyway, that's how the Green Tiger started. We were in San Diego at the time. Eventually we moved to, to Seattle. And so now we, here we are in Seattle, in the Wallingford, Fremont section of Seattle. And I'd like to introduce our media expert here, Lindsay Wayman, who is helping with all this. But today we want to talk to you about Desi Wilcox Smith. She's an artist who has been popular for us for many, many years, really since the beginning. We've always been so fond of her. She was born in 1863, died in 1935, and she began illustrating. She went to Drexel, she was born in Philadelphia, and she went to the Philadelphia Academy of Art, and then she ended up at the Drexel Institute where she encountered Howard Pyle. Now, Howard Pyle is kind of the father of American illustration. Before that, not much uh, magazine and so forth illustration was being done, particularly not in color. Now, around the turn of the century, color started getting more prominent in books for general, for the general public, not not expensive lithographed books, but you know, general public books, and also magazines were really blowing up in popularity at the time. And she started illustrating for well, a little bit more about her. She, Howard, she was a Howard Power was her mentor, mentor, and at the Drexel Institute, she met two other women, Violet Oakley and Elizabeth Shippen Green, who became great friends. And the three women moved to the Red Rose Estate outside Philadelphia, and then became known as the Red Rose Girls. And all of them were successful illustrators. Jessie Wilcox Smith was the most successful. She did, did the most work. Anyway, this, this is an early illustration. This was, this is, at this point, this is, an, as you can see, the Ladies Home Journal. And it's, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, only in two colors, because the magazines were really not into the to bright aesthetics. Yeah, yeah the, well, it, the, the technology of, of uh, offset lithography was not really developed. And so things were, they did it, they kept the more simple things. So what was the process back then? How did, how did this illustration come to be? Well, it, it, offset lithography is you break down the painting that she makes, you photograph it, and you break it down into screens, four color screens. This may have been actually three colors. They started with three colors a red, a yellow, a blue, and a black. And then you put those colors together and it helps you to make many colors. Now you see, this is a very simplified scheme. They may have, this may be only printed in two colors because it's black and red. And, red. and then someplace they're combined. You can see you've got a sort of a dark red, which is com black and red combined. So that's, that's a two color printing, which was cheaper with you know simpler machines and to get the things lined up was hard. It took a little, good deal of development, the technology of, of offset printing. Anyway, Jessie Wilcox Smith. So she started. She uh, she did she did, she illustrated many books. She illustrated forty books in her time. But you think of her primarily as a magazine illustrator. Here now, here we're getting to that was nineteen. Now we're getting up into the late twenties. 
and 30s. And you can see we've got full color. Good Housekeeping became, she illustrated for many magazines, The Ladies Home Journal, um, the, Dilita the Delineator, and uh, Good Housekeeping, and Collier's. But anyway, Good Housekeeping became her big publisher. She illustrated 200 covers for them over the over a course of 15 years, and we, there were there were beautiful ones as you can see. She was famous for her for her illustrations of children. I've I've heard that she didn't really like children, which is <laughs> odd because she's so good at it, and she's particularly good at uh, at mothers and children, familial relationships. Yeah, familial, familial relationship, but. The, here, look at this. Love, look at that lovely one with the cat. Oh, the wow. Cat. Isn't that sweet? The cat with the little girl. So this was, so was this, had it, the lithograph, had it evolved since there were more colors? Yes. At this point, it was more accessible to have more colors and yes. have it be it, more complex? Yes, it was. And these, these, I mean, these ma magazines were now in this era, they sold by the hundreds of thousands. They were really broadcast. Everybody took several magazines every week. And women particularly took the Good Housekeeping Ladies Home Journal, Delineator. They they were for fashion. They were for cooking. They had, they were just women's general women's magazines, and so she became very popular. And I, she helped sell magazines, so they kept using her. And they are indeed beautiful. Look at the that's a, that's a lovely one too. This is now in the 30s, as I say, which is, was this time when she was really going at it with the good with Good Housekeeping. Back then, was it popular to have women illustrators, or was she one of the first? Or no, was she was a kind of a pioneer. Uh, the I don't, I can't think there were there were some English illustrators at the time. Um, the oldest one in the nineteenth century was Kate Greenaway, and then there was Beatrix Potter, which everybody knows because of Peter Rabbit. She was all she was very early, but in America, I don't know. Jessie Wilcox Smith was right there at the beginning. One of the very first. And she was the very first, and you got to hand it to Howard Pyle. He encouraged these three women. He he helped them make careers as uh, magazine illustrators. So you have a huge library of illustrations. We do. Um, so we're going to be doing this once a month to release more content because we want it to be more accessible to people. And we love to show them. We want, we, as I say, we started because we felt that these things were kind of lost and that people ought to see them. They were good enough. They were so good that that people ought to, ought to see them. So, and on that subject, those two that, that Lindsay's there holding, we decided to make new cards up. We don't, we don't have these two on cards, but we now do. So if you just love that little girl and her cat, you can buy the card. And they'll be on the website, yep. and then they'll be on the Etsy store and also. And you can buy a print of it too. We all, whenever we have a card, you also can buy a print. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we love doing things like this. So yes. See you next month.